the sound we normally associate with hurricane cleanup is actually a welcome noise for the next few weeks in front of the Sanford Civic Center along the river walk on Lake Monroe. It's time to watch out not throw dusty and I cut his mouth. Renowned chainsaw artist Mark Rice has been hired by the city to transform what's left of a 60-year-old laurel oak that once stood tall and mighty. It recently died and the remains were taken down to 12 feet. On Monday, Rice hand-built his slippery, shaky scaffold and got to work. He joined me live on a rainy Good Day Orlando. That whole base is going to turn into what exactly do you know yet? Parts, but the tree also tells me what it's going to be. So this may supposed to be an owl, may turn into a chicken. You know, you never know. It's you got to work with the wood. Would you believe Rice uses 12 different chainsaws to make his masterpieces? He has custom creations all over North America. The Central Florida native was even chosen to make art out of the remains of the 3500 year old senator tree in Longwood, the bald cypress that burnt down under unfortunate circumstances in 2012. So Rice was the perfect choice for the public art commissioners in Sanford who also joined us live. We endeavor to beautify the city through murals, sculpture. This is just one more piece. We feel lucky that we can turn this into a piece of art. So far, Mark Rice has an eagle and a bear carved out. I plan on doing a heron, a clock, uh, an owl, just, you know, pretty much whatever comes to mind, but it's got to fit the tree and the city. So it's, uh, you know, it's a little complicated, but it's what I do. He wants to be done in two weeks, so we best leave him alone and check back later in March after his final buzz. In Seminole County, David Martin, Fox 35 News.